What's up, guys? Welcome to Snack Crate. You can turn that off. Um, we got our new snack crate for the month. Um, this is the actual month. I already know what this is, and we're still gonna have a good time with it. It's still gonna be fine. It's still gonna be fun. But anyway, when this is a new snack crate, as you guys know, subscription box service. It's about twenty six dollars a month. That's the one that I get, and every month I'll we get a here. box of fun Sorry. snacks from a different country. So here we go. You ready? When I first saw what they said hello in, I thought it was Texas, but then Mom said Texas isn't. Uh, it's called road trip. What? Which basically means. They're snacks from America. Oh my it's god, America. hashtag Pax the Ox, y'all. Right. Oh, <laughs> so basically they're snacks from America. I was a little bit um, confused by this considering I thought when you ordered these boxes they would only send you snacks from other countries that you don't reside mm -hmm. in. But After these I've never had before. But some of them we actually when look, have. when I was doing research on it, they are sending snacks from all over different states and in looking at the list, there's like maybe two on here that I've had. So we're still gonna be doing new things it's just stuff from america that we've never had before so you're gonna read some fun facts about our road trip if and it actually doesn't say america it just says this month we were going on a road trip and then it has the united states so mark's gonna read the fun facts anyway oregon and new jersey are the only states that cannot pump your own gas at remember to tip your attendant kindly oh no thanks i'll save the dollar <laughs> I am never going those, to those places. Beef jerky, one of the most popular road trip snacks in the U.S., was first created by the Native Americans. They called it charqui, or burned meat. Each year, about 53% of American families embark on a road trip every year. Uh, why would you do that to yourself? Yosemite National Park in California is the oldest national park. It also contains the three out of ten of the United States' tallest waterfalls. An average road trip across the United States can last up to 2,500 to 3,000 500 miles and take and takes about four days. I thought I said 250, but... I you okay? 2, <laughs> Whoa! Um, anyways, the paper's kind of cool. Normally, I show you guys the paper. Um, but oh. it has the cool Route 66 sticker, and it has all this kind of fun. On Route 66. Looks like an old school map, kids. For my my parents in my age bracket, they know we used to have actual books <sighs> in the car that were mapped out. Anyway. Okay, so first up, we are going to do the Chesapeake Crab Root 11 potato chips. They are kettle cooked potato chips. They look like they could have a crab. Oh, the spicy, flavor. briny taste that makes crab so delicious is now captured in a chip from Virginia. Old Bay, am I right? Virginia. Spicy? I hate spicy crab. Virginia. Yeah. So our first stop on our road trip is to Virginia. Here, bud. Like Aww, I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It smells like a Lay's barbecue chip. No thanks, Bay. No thanks. Oh, the aftertaste. <laughs> the aftertaste is that good. Your dad would tell you like so that. hot. They they have a spice to them, but I can't really describe to you what the flavor is. Because that's a good. That is so hot. Right, let's try the next potato chip. Why does America have all the potato chips? What's Better that? made special barbecue flavor. <laughs> what state are these from? <laughs> these spicy <laughs> sweet chips from Michigan are more than just your average barbecue chip. Michi Michiganders, Michigan. Michiganders instead insisted they be included. Why do okay. these all smell like the latest barbecue, like barbecue chips? chips? Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. That's better than a Lay's. I don't like barbecue chips. Mmm. I like these. They do, they do taste like Lay's barbecue chips, but... Nope. I'm left a little better. A little nope. better flavor. Nope. Nope. Anywho. Um, oh. Here it is. <coughs> beef jerky. Elk the beef jerky. jerky. Chewy and satisfying. Oh. These elk jerky sticks are from New Mexico and are packed with great flavor and protein. Elk's oh. not beef, it's this elk. This is for my family in Utah because they are um, hunters of the elk. 
bring it out, bring so it I'm out. So I'm telling Utah that you guys are now doing this. Um, be prepared because they're saying elk beef jerky. Split it up, split it up. Okay, my problem with beef jerky is normally when you bite into it, you get like a little like squirt of the meat juice. <laughs> Why would you say it like that? <laughs> Why would you say it like that? You said it! No. It's usually not good. Why I'm not a fan like of that? these kinds. They remind me of like a Slim Jim or whatever, but I also have had very good beef jerky, but these ones that are like a stick. Oh no, I didn't do that. It's not bad. Tastes like beef jerky. Mm, that's the end of that. I mean, it doesn't. That's the end of that. We're not doing that it anymore. It doesn't smell that good. But it tastes like beef jerky. <clears throat> Taste how dog food smells. The cactus. Not bad. Actually, it kind of tastes like a, a hot prickly, dog more than. Prickly I'm pear. still talking about the last one. What are you doing? <laughs> Go it say tastes it again. more like a hot dog than it does beef jerky. Yeah. It does have a hot dog sort of flair. Oh, the ugh. prickly pear cactus cactus candy. Small jelly gummies from Arizona made from real Arizona. prickly pear cactus. They're small, tangy, and sweet, which makes them perfect the perfect snack on the go. This is quite a trip. We went from Virginia to Michigan, and now we're in Arizona. We oh, have just one. We went to Ar no. There should be two in there. There was two on the picture. Hmm. It reminds me of those sun kissed. Let me see. One sugary gummies. When we're at the river, we saw someone get attacked by jack rabbit cactus, which is a cactus that shoots at you. I like shoots it. Shoots it. pins at you. Ew. This is gross. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spit it on the camera. Okay. You good? Oh, it's it my like those, it, oh. it tastes like those sun kissed candies that are coated in sugar that you usually see like around Christmas or whatever. I don't know. This anyway. is gross. Now we're going to Idaho, I'm assuming, because this says Idaho Spud. The candy oh. bar that put Idaho on the map, it's a, that's a stretch. But the fluffy <laughs> chocolatey flavor infused with coconut flakes is heavenly. Ugh. Oh my god, this is so gross. <laughs> I love me some coconut. You're going to think everything is gross because of your braces. No, because coconut. I, I love coconut. Don't like coconut. Ew, but I don't know what this spongy stuff is on the inside. Mm, it looks mm, like tuna. Mm, 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 mm. It's like a mushy mm. almond joy. <laughs> that's gross. Uh, mm, mm. Oh, that's gross. Give me the rest. Malia! What? Oh, Ayo, I missed the bag. I chewed up gummies on the floor. Malia <laughs> dodged the bag when she was spitting out okay. the gummy. That tasted almost like a. Can I have the rest of that? Like a mousse oh, filling on. inside of it, wrapped in chocolate and coconut. Like you said it was like a mushy gummy um, almond joy, but it tastes like a mousse inside. It wasn't. Ugh, this is so nasty. Oh, this is worse than like the nastiest one we've ever had. Okay, next up on the road trip is the Goo Goo Cluster. We've left Idaho. Ooey gooey candy clusters from Tennessee, filled with. Oh. Caramel, peanuts, and marshmallow, and coated in chocolate. Two places okay. in a row oh. that our family. It smells melty. It smells good. Because, you know, it was on my porch, but. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I saw it. We're going to do our best. This is from Tennessee, so. We've actually been to Tennessee. Grandma Alice Never and Happy, if you guys see this. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're only, only 10. I see. Oh, my God. Ugh. That was the most epic okay, well, pickup just gonna line kind of ever. This is really kind of a melty mess here. So we're oh just going to kind of little take little bites from it. And you're going to get chocolate on your hands, but don't worry, I have wipey. Mmm. That's pretty good. Don't chew the paper, Malia. That's pretty good. Mm. Yeah? Mm, 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 mm. Average, mm. non pressed. Mm. Don't, don't like good. it. It's like a nougat. Because of your braces. Because of your braces. Is that My what you said it was? make things taste bad. Did you say it was a nougat? It's caramel. Mm. Marshmallow. No, it tastes like a nougat. Caramel marshmallow. Um, that was pretty good. Alice, I'm happy. Grandma Alice, you're going to have to tell us if you get, guys get those. Mm. That was pretty good. All right. Let's just get this one out of the way. How are we almost done? <laughs> Tuna jerky, I know this is probably from Hawaii. That's from Hawaii. I love that stuff. Because it's cow. It has that was our, that was our last snack crate. Was too. it in the Hawaii box? Oh. Yes. It's a traditional Hawaiian snack that has zesty, salty oh. flavor, making it a great. Yeah, remember? Fill up. Bite. Oh. I, I love that stuff. I finished it. <laughs> we had it last time. I 
finished that's an aroma. Stuff. I finished this stuff. Wow, that is quite the <laughs> fishy aroma. Okay, um, what flavor is this? Fish. This was, n oh, actually, it, it was not this chewy Pimana. last time. Paimana jerky. Oh, I don't know. Mm. No, uh, oh, 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 mm. oh, Last oh. Last you said this was disgusting. What is wrong with you? What is happening to your taste buds? It's gonna... been a month. <laughs> it's been a month. <laughs> it's kind of, ah, ah, my throat. That's kind of disgusting is what it is. Um, okay, we have maybe three. I don't like it. We have three things, or no, four things left. Ooh, Aunt Sally's pralines. This makes me think of I Love Lucy. I'm about to show this to Grandma. Oh. <laughs> This is Aunt Sally's Creole pralines. This reminds oh, me of Creole. other Lucy when they went on a road trip and road trip and they were looking for Aunt Sally's pralines on the road. These treats from Louisiana are Ooh. stretch your cluster of buttery caramel and crunch pecans. Don't forget to bring a toothpick. What are you with? Um, what are you, the little girl from Princess and the Frog? I'm sweating like what's she saying? I'm sweating like a center in church. Yes, I'm sweating like a center in church. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, that's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> Malia does not approve. But it tastes like. Mm -mm. I like it. It's, yes. It tastes like pecans. It tastes like cookie dough. Like it tastes like cookie batter without chocolate chips. Like you can taste the the. Yeah. The, um, what do you want me to take it? I don't like nuts. Mm, you can taste mouth. the um. No, I didn't need that part. Oh, girl. The pecan flavor. Anyway. Oh. All right. We're down to three. I'm saying I'm this. Gonna, uh, this is nasty. We're gonna go ahead and do this because this is something that everyone I know of knows what it is, has had it before, and mm. and Abba's Abba. Salty peanut butter, salty peanut butter coated inside a thick layer of chewy sweet taffy. The perfect flavor balance. Thank you, California. See, oh, this is California. Okay, I didn't realize it was from California. You've gotten us those before. Well, I understand, but that doesn't mean you can't can get things it. other places. Oh, you can yeah. have a little tiny piece. Well, you can have the no, because I have a square one and I choke on it. We have had these before. I was, I was hit, dude. They're really good. So good. I didn't realize that was specifically oh, from California. This but isn't hard. This is chewy. I know. I'll, I'll break a bracket. And I already broke one. You want a little piece? No. Uh, anyway, I was, I was. Malia broke a bracket. I don't know. Film I'm head? assuming my family in Utah, you guys have also had these because I lived there and I. I don't. Anyway, this from California. We have made our way quite around this, the uh, country here. Okay, now we're going on to Marsha's homemade Buckeyes. I got it. Um, they might literally okay, resemble a Buckeyes, but these chocolatey peanut butter balls from Ohio are so creamy they melt in your mouth. We are like dancing all around. This can't possibly be a road trip. This is like California, Ohio, Idaho, we're going to U oh. Hawaii. See, this was meant for us because there's exactly three in the container. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> Is that peanut butter, did you say? What did you say it was? Oh, uh, I don't remember. Ooh! Why does it smell like yeah. a Reese's Pieces? Mmm. We're talking a peanut butter cup. That's pretty good. I already have chocolate on my teeth. Right? No? Yeah. Well, we're just not impressed. You're not impressed? Well, I like peanut butter cups, but I pref I don't actually particularly care for Reese's peanut butter cups. I like Reese's pieces. I like peanut butter cups from last week, uh, Trader Joe's. I know we're not supposed to be shopping at Trader Joe's right now. But, um, yeah. that's a more of a political thing we're not going to discuss here. But, oh, sorry, babe. Anyway, okay. We've reached our last treat, and I actually say this one specifically for last because. So, Marky and I went to New York, Boston and New York, last holiday, like last Christmas season. We, we arrived the day after Christmas and stayed until New Year's. And this cookie I saw somewhere on one of the you little shops that, that like went into, but I never bought it because I was like, first of all, this is a ginormous cookie. And second, I was like, what if I don't like it? So, anyway, this is a Joey cookie. Not Joey Tribbiani, just Joey. Um, these soft and, fluid, soft and fluffy cookies are from New York. We'll put you in an empire state of mind. Separate the sides or eat them as one. It's all to you. It's all what? It's all to you. 
Um, anyways, so we didn't get it there. That food's ruining but me. But I had an amazing time in New York, and I almost wish I would have. But we're here now, and so we're ending our last treat with a little. You want both sides, or Ugh. or um, we're ending our journey on our road trip in New York. I thought that'd be a good place to end. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Mm. That's good. It's like fluffy. It's almost like a pound mm. cake. No? I don't think so. <laughs> Molly is not impressed. Molly didn't like anything in this box. Did you, you, you like anything in the no. box? No. Maybe if I had jelly. Ew! No, you ruined the cookie. Like a jelly filling, it'd be good. Mm -mm. You ruined it. That's kind of gross. Um, mm -mm. Well, anywho, that was nasty. That was not a terrible box. Um, but here's what I'll, here's what I'll say about it. I'm not super stoked that we got a box from snacks from our own country. Yeah, but because the whole point of this is to taste things that I wouldn't be able to easily get access to. Because I'm pretty sure that all these snacks are easily accessible somewhere in California, even though they come from other states. Most of this stuff. Um, so that's the only thing I didn't like about it when I read about it. The fun little thing that we're getting this month, like usually you get like a little game or. Some sort of recipe or something so this time we got two things we got a recipe on how to make main lobster rolls oh. which i'm oh. definitely going to keep because i love me some lobster and also there's a little mini um road trip trivia so i actually like i'm gonna ask you guys what state's nickname is the first state new york uh, california nope delaware what state's Latin roots mean arid zone? Arizona. Yes, that's right, buddy. Tornado Alley is made up of what states? Uh, there's four. There's like um, Kansas and um, right. Kansas and above and below Kansas and the one <laughs> below below Kansas. Canada. No, is that in America? Yes. Oh my god. My child needs to keep going to school. Mom, wait, no, Kansas, Kansas is right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Kansas, and I don't know what state's in the middle. I can't even name all 50 states. New York's honest. in the middle. No. What? New York's in the middle of United States. He's trying to be funny, and it's not working. I'm He's trying not to be funny. He looks trying. not smart. I mean, not He's trying to be funny. He I'm looks not. not. So it's Kansas, I'm serious. Kansas, Iowa, Texas, and Nebraska. I couldn't, I can't even, that, I don't even know those That states. is where I thought anyway, this was from. So we Texas. did it. Did we get everything that was on this list? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. we did. Anyways, that's it, guys. So, yeah. Um, that was the box is from America. I'm going to go to sleep. They want us to go on a road trip because we're all in COVID, so we just have to imagine we can go on a road trip. I guess we, I think you could go on a road trip and still. You just got to wear masks anyway. at every stop. So, we will see you guys again next month. Thank you, as always, for joining us. I'm sorry it wasn't full of the hilarity that um, tends to ensue on these. <coughs> but, anyway, nonetheless. Well, you didn't choke that was on our box. Album. And we look forward to seeing you guys next month. And if any of you are interested in getting this, because I have had a few people reach out to me and I've sent my codes to you, let me know and I'll send you my referral code. And that's it. So let them know, my bud, what are they going to do? If you guys like this content and want to keep seeing this content, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well if you want to get notified every time we upload a new video. Also, hit the like button down below. That will help us know that once we're finished, we could go back and do some more if you guys like that <laughs> and just have fun watching this video and further videos for more subscribe be a part of basically our second family on this platform and bye bye guys thanks for watching subscribe.